Hi and a very warm welcome to another tutorial of easy video series. This is Mayank Agarwal here and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can reset the passwords of Windows XP Vista and 7 with 100% success a step by step tutorial. Friends for this you need a 4 MB ISO file that is need to be burned on a CD or a USB. The tool is offline windows password and register editor. I would be giving you the link in the description of the video as well. For the ISO file to be burnt on a CD or a DVD, you can use IMG burn. Just a 3-4 MB utility. Okay. Instructions are available on the website itself. Uh, I have the ISO CD here. Since I cannot show you the my PC while booting, I am using a virtual box. You will just need to go to the BIOS and go to your BIOS. Normally BIOS is in the startup using F2, F9, F12 or delete keys. And make First go to device as CD-ROM or DVD-ROM and in case you have burned on a pen drive use a USB option. So coming back to the point, see here is my windows system and I have forgotten the password. I don't know. Ok. So in my virtual box uh, we can set the settings here only, come to machine, settings. For application on a system you will have to actually do this using CD and make the first word device as CD-ROM. In VirtualBox, I am just telling it. See, I have already downloaded the offline windows password and register editor. Uh, this is the IOC image, just 4.5 MB. OK. And I click OK. So next time when my PC starts, first boot device will become that offline windows registry password. So this ISO will be booted during the boot time. As you see, virtual box starts and this is. So this is Windows Reset and Password Register Editor. So there are some options like boot no USB, boot IPQ rule, just press enter for default things. So it will load some of its drivers and files. So there you go. It automatically selects the Windows partition. It gives us two boot partition, one and two. One is the slash dev slash sd1 that is the boot partition windows make known as system reserved which is invisible we need not select that drive and second is the dev slash sd2 this is the windows partition normally windows xp user will be having only one drive okay so select that drive itself for windows 7 and windows vista i'm not sure for windows 7 it is slash dev slash sd2 so since la dev slash sd2 is partition number two I give you option number 2. Now it automatically uh, detects your windows path. What is the path of the windows directories? Windows slash system32 slash config. So just press enter. Now it gives option for password reset and recovery console. Come to password reset. Press option 1 because it is option 1 there. After this, uh, there are three options. For editing user password, register editor with full write support in case you are that much expert. I will use the option edit user and beta password. And now it will ask you for the name of the user. Remember the name is case sensitive here. So you need you don't need to enter the name exactly as given in this column, username. So as you see my username was myank and m is capital here. So I will enter myank with a capital M. Now it gives me 4 or 5 options, clear the password, edit the password that will help you set the new password here itself. So in this tutorial I am going to show how to clear the password, so I enter option 1. Now select exclamation to quit, everything is done, but still the changes are not being written to the registry. So in any case, you want to quit, you can quit it right here, no changes would be made. So now finally it says what do you wish to do, again we press quit, so Q. And now it asks you step 4, writing back changes. So till here whatever you have done, it is stored temporarily, not written permanently. So about to write file back, do you want to do it? Say yes. So you want to try again if you have missed out something. Since we have done everything perfectly, new run? No. Okay, that's done. Now it will ask you to restart. So let me now remove your CD in case you have a CD. I am also removing it here. So now I insert a restart command. So let's see, let the windows restart. So there you go. And 
as you see no login prompt it directly logs into my system it asks for no password so just a 4 mb setup file 4 mb iso file burn on a dvd cd or write on a pen drive and boot through it and get your reset password resetted mind you this is only for educational purposes this is not made for using on corporate pcs educational centers and other system this is only for knowledge purposes do not misuse this or you might face criminal offenses thank you for watching have a nice time please subscribe to easy video series goodbye